Alexa, read me my flash briefing. Here's your flash briefing. This is Reuters Now. White House Chief of Hi, I'm Dave, the founder of Mango Mirror, and today I'm going to show you how you can get your own Mango Mirror made in under 10 minutes. Watch this video. All right, so let's get started. Here is a list of what we're going to need for this project, and you can find more details, including links on where to get them in our video description or on our website. So to start off with, we have a two-way glass mirror that's 18 by 24 inches. We have a black vinyl roll that's 12 inches by 60 inches in length. We have a black frame, a basic picture frame for an 18 inch by 24 inch glass. We're using the Amazon Fire 7 tablet, a 7 inch display. And the Amazon Fire is pre-installed with the Mango Display app from the Amazon App Store or you can download it from the Google Play Store as well. And to control the Mango Display app, we have the Mango Mirror app, which is installed on your iPhone or iPad. And this allows you to basically control the Mango Display app. So you can choose which widgets you want, what sizing you want. You can choose the number of screens that you need. You can choose the timing between the screens. Basically, you can set all of the information that you want. All right, so let's get started. Um, so we start off with, you wanna make sure that the back of the glass is facing you. Uh, and then roll out the vinyl to measure um, and cut. So when I say back of the glass, I mean the back that is the uh, least reflective. So this is the glass that is going to allow the light to flow through onto the other side so you can actually see the content. And the black basically uh, prevents light so you can see your reflection. So we're going to put the tablet on, uh, find our placement. We usually like to put it about four inches from the top and uh, two inches from from the left, you just want to make sure everything is straight and even. And then you're just going to draw an outline of the tablet on your vinyl using a pencil or any sort of marker that you can, um, that you can use. And basically what we're going to do with this is uh, we're going to mark um, the inside of that outline. So roughly about a quarter of an inch and uh, just you can, you know, make a couple of uh, dots on the on the, all the sides and then cut out from there. And the reason we do this is we want to make sure that we don't cut on the outline because that could allow some light to leak from the side of the tablet. Um, and these tablets usually have a black border anyway, so we want to make sure that this sort of covers that piece. Um, and uh, if you want, you can also make sure that the camera um, is covered um, within, um, within your um, black border if you want to make sure that you're completely private. So what we're going to do is cut this out now. Uh, once we cut it out, we just want to make sure that um, it's going to be aligning with the tablet's uh, screen border. So we do a quick check of it to make sure that we don't need to redo anything. Once we have that, that's basically we're good to go now with uh, pasting the vinyl on. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your glass is dust free. Uh, because any specs will show on the other side. So try to make sure that it is um, completely dust free. And then all you gotta do is uh, open out the vinyl um, and stick it to the glass. And uh, the most important piece around this is you wanna just make sure that the opening that you cut out for the tablet is fairly straight. Um, you don't need to worry about all of the other stuff like creases and bubbles and things like that. Um, the main purpose of this is to block the light um, and that's all we worry about and because it's going to be at the back, it doesn't matter much. So uh, just try your best to smoothen it out uh, as best you can and line it up to the edges so you don't have to do any more further trimming after that. And this vinyl is also uh, removable so you can, if you do make some mistakes, you can just lift it up and, and uh, reposition it as needed. Okay, once we do that, then we move to the other side and we just want to make sure we cover over the remaining exposed glass with the vinyl. Um, and again, a similar process, you can just use the remaining roll um, and then roll it out as you stick it onto the glass. Um, and in this case, you're going to find that you will have some overflow of the vinyl, which is fine. All you want to do is just make sure you cover all of the glass and then use a knife to 
simply trim off the excess and you can do this basically by just sliding the, the knife across the edge of the glass and holding on to the vinyl and you get a clean cut. And then what we're going to do is just cut two three inch strips from the remaining vinyl so that's about 12 inches by three inch uh, and then make sure your charging port this is important make sure your charging port is actually pointing down because that's how we want to make sure that um, that we plug in the uh, tablet and then we want to stick the first piece of the cut vinyl across the top so we, we go from left to right and we make sure that we have enough of it sticking on to the, the back of the glass and the, the tablet and the one important thing to note here is to make sure you do not cover the speaker if you want to hear Alexa if you want to hear your music you got to make sure that piece is not covered and then you stick the second piece of the cut vinyl across the bottom and that holds the tablet in place and then you can insert your power cable into the tablet and use another piece of vinyl to just stick it onto the glass just to be sure that in case somebody pulls on to the power card that the tablet doesn't come out and then set your mirror aside and now it's time to actually place the frame and get the mirror placed into the frame. So place the frame face down, make sure the clips um, for the frame are, are open, and then place your mirror in the frame face down. And you gotta just be careful around this because it, it's probably gonna be a little bit snug, so just make sure you take your time, get it right, and, and make sure that it fits snugly into the frame. Once it's there, make sure that the clips are closed down from the frame to secure the glass in place. We want to make sure all the clips are done completely and tight so that our glass doesn't fall out. And then we measure and cut out the hanging wire. This usually comes with the frame. Uh, so you can measure it out, cut it out, and then you twist the edges onto the provided hooks on the frame, and then you're ready to hang up your mirror. And once you're ready, that's all you need. Just uh, screw in your wall and then you can hang up your mirror. And that's it, you're done. Alexa, play me some Christmas music. The station holiday favorites on Amazon Music. Alexa. Back to Mango Display app. Here's Mango Display. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a look at the Alexa, change the station to top 40 hits. Alexa, back to Mango Display app. Alexa, lower the volume to 6.